Hey guys, Sean with Custom Offices, Custom Offices TV on the YouTube. They let me sneak back in for a from the gallery. I've got my arch nemesis, Cody Banker, <laughs> Captain Honesty, doesn't care about your feelings. And they have randomly selected some trucks for us to dive into and tell you what we think and rate them. Kind of what we think. Because we <laughs> That's a f semi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now that the semi is parked and the wheels are being delivered, we can continue. <laughs> Let's dive right in. So you've got a 2006 Ford F-150. It's got some 24 by 10 XD monsters, some Kumo 38 by 14s. It's on greater than nine inches of lift. And it is the purple Joker truck. This is like, they should have the number in it. This is the 400th truck ever loaded to the gallery. So this has been on there since like 2014. Oh, so you've seen this before. Yes, this is like the first cool truck ever loaded to the gallery. Okay, well that's gonna change a lot. Yeah, that's gonna definitely help this score. So it's got uh, 24 by 10s, like I said, 38. It's lifted over nine inches. It's a three inch body lift. Mm, you're gonna be mad about that. Mm -hmm. And a six inch suspension lift. And then you can see from the picture, it's got custom headlights. I would imagine that's a wrap, but I didn't even know if they wrapped back in like 2012 or whenever this would have been loaded. Does this thing work? Oh. And then the wheels, I believe, are white. To are they, match are they white or are they chrome? I think they're white. The, the wheels are so old that they're not even linked in the gallery because yeah. they don't make them anymore. And it says plus 20, it's a plus 27 offset. Yeah, they, I thought they were stock See, wheels. See, they're white for sure. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. That, what is going on there? Cool. Should we rank it? Do you see enough? I, Do you have any questions? I feel like I know this one. I kind of. Hi, we're just, we're filming here. Can, can you keep it down? You're gonna rate these trucks? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure, okay. come on down. Hi guys, I am Emily Chartier. I am Sean Chartier's wife, and I figured we could uh, do this since they make it look so hard and it's, Probably not as, hard. That hard. It's not as hard as they're making it look. And this is? I'm Taylor, banker's girlfriend, and I'm very honest, like he is, so <laughs> sorry. Okay, and I'm probably, I probably sugarcoat stuff. You, you need to be honest. We'll see, okay. We might offend some people, but so be it. Okay, so this is a 2013 Toy Toyota Tacoma on Fuel Mavericks 20 by 14 negative 76. And you know what? There's a dog in the picture. Yep, that one's it. <laughs> um, so both of us are huge dog lovers. But anyways, to the truck. Um, it has a six inch uh, lift. It doesn't say what kind of lift. Performance accessories suspension. Huh. What's There's, a Toyota? You so. know, I, okay, so when Sean decided to get the Avalanche, and he decided to put the 50 inch light bar on like five years ago. It was something really cool back then, maybe seven years ago, but it made me angry because it looked like you got an angry eyebrow. The light bars made you have an angry, like angry face. So uh, yeah. I like how wide it is. I'm not that big a fan of Toyota, but I, I don't know. Yeah. I feel like he could do more. What other mods is there? Ready? Three, two, two one, six. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> Let's okay, do that one more let's time. do it again. Cut. Okay, so the next one is a 2007 Chevy Silverado 1500. Uh, Scorpion wheels, uh, 24 by 14, negative 76. Uh, level. I can't pronounce the tires. <laughs> And I it's lowered. Yeah, so it's a level two inch drop in the rear. Um, I love the color. The color, I agree. The this guy's awesome. actually local. I actually wanted to buy this. He was selling it like three weeks ago. Um, I don't know those wheels and tires. I, I don't know, and that bumper. But <laughs> I, I love the bumper. color. Yeah, it's wrapped. It's kind of a cute truck though. It's kind of cute. Um, um, so the mods that he's have done, he has a move, a move uh, bumper, which a lot of guys do, and I like the move bumpers. A lot bunkers, of people put them on the cat eyes. I feel like when it's when you color match them, it's really hard to color match it exactly. Yeah, but he wrapped it. Mm, is that a wrap? Yeah, okay. I'm friends with him on Facebook, so <laughs> it's wrapped. <laughs> Awkward. Is that his only mod? I don't know. Okay, let's rate it. Okay. 
Wait, this is the second truck already, right? Yeah. Uh -oh. okay. okay. So we're gonna say three, two, one, and then we're gonna rate it. Okay. okay. Are you saying <laughs> yes? Three, two, one, nine. Five. A nine? Yeah. These things are so popular. Like I didn't like lower trucks, but like wide wheels just look sick. I think, and the color, and like I love cat eyes, even though they're really basic. And I mean, again, the color is really pretty. Okay. Not so. To be like that. It is a pretty truck. But I, I love my lifted trucks. This squatty thing is not my deal. Yeah, I won't own a lowered truck. But, well, I mean, I said this I did view want to is, buy it. This view is, I like that view. Yeah. I just, the front view with the bumper, I'm not a huge fan of. The back view is better. It's got a better back end. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, next. All right. Okay, so this is a two, oh, oh, what happened? Okay, so this is a 2014 Dodge Ram 2500 with hostile 24 by 14s and negative 76, a BDS suspension, a six inch lift. Um, okay, so first impressions, it's super clean, clean looking. Yeah. Um, it's all blacked out, aftermarket grill. The light bars in the grill, or in the bumper. Oh, yep. I kind of like that. He has some color accents to the wheels, which the hostile sprocket is really popular. Oh yeah, that's super cool. He has a touch of blue in there, which that's pretty sweet. Everything's blacked out completely. Yeah. And then just that little touch I of blue. I like that touch Yeah, that's of blue. sweet. I'm not, a, I'm not a Dodge fan. I don't like, because they have those lights on the top. I mean, a lot, a lot of trucks have the lights on them. I know, but I hate five that. Star. What's that? Like five star. Yeah. That's yep. what people call it. The Fords, I have that too, but I, I don't like that. Um, yeah, so ready He's got to rate blue it? in the headlights too. Are they halos? Oh, what is that? I don't know. What is that front thing? I don't know. The grill. Not sure what you that is. see it. But the brackets for the light bar are blue too. Yeah, that's super cool. Okay, let's rate it. Okay. Ready for this? Yep. Three, two, one, seven. seven. Oh, tight. <laughs> I think it's really clean. It's there's nothing that I don't like on it. Yeah. So. Besides, it's a Dodge, but everything yeah. else. Yeah. Make sure you bleep out. <laughs> this one's not at all pretty. So this. So this is a 2000 Ford Excursion Anthem, 20 by 20 by 12s, negative 44s, and a custom 12 inch lift. Yeah, 12 inch lift. And this one's not pretty, at all. I mm. like the wheels, but they're tiny. Because 20s used to be really popular and now they're not. And now if you have small wheels, it's just hey, kind of like this. Okay, no offense, but like. Yeah, okay, we're done listening to how pretty everything is. <laughs> Let's do an actual job yeah. here. That was interesting. Oh, yeah, so unless if everybody wants us to rate their trucks by how pretty they are <laughs> in the blue pieces, uh, I think we should probably go back to rating the trucks in from the gallery. But let us know in the comments if you'd rather the girls come back every week and like pick out the prettiest things. Yeah, and, yeah. Name the Shiny. species of the dogs in the in the photos <laughs> and all the fun stuff. So let's jump back in this. Like this, it's a 2004 excursion. It's got some Anthem Enforcer 20 by 12s and some Michelin 395 75s. Nice suspension Ooh. lift is a 12 inch totally custom suspension. Now, I just want to jump in here. They they didn't like the wheels. Um, who owns Anthem? Yeah. <laughs> They're like, you know, what we really don't like the wheels that we designed in the company. <laughs> That we want. Yeah. Oh, so they just, yeah, I don't like the size of the wheels we designed. But hey, that is a beast. That is a big truck. I love the picture in the snow because I, I can't, somebody's not daily driving this, are they? I wouldn't they? think so. I think it snowed. So they're like, hey, go start up the excursion and take a sweet picture <laughs> in the snow. <laughs> you think they keep it outside? I, oh, no, there's the fit, garage. There's yeah, it the doesn't garage. look like it would fit in the garage, though. Like, where's the, oh, yeah. 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 Sure. So they pulled it out for the snow, the infamous <laughs> snow shot yep. or pushed it out. You know what I love? About, so these trucks I love seeing. I don't want to own one because <laughs> I know how much work has probably gone into it and how many issues it can have. I know that oh, you with are. with the lift kit. Yeah, you're not taking that <laughs> down the highway at 80. Yeah. With a, with a. I thought you were talking about excursions. Brent's going to throw a wrench over this. Oh, truck. no, 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 <laughs> no. It's more about the build, that build style. Oh, yeah. I love seeing a monster truck at every truck show. I believe that there should always be a couple of them. I love the older, you know, this one's going on 19 years old and it looks really clean for the age. 
Yeah, if, if you ever wanted a lifted school bus but not have to buy a school bus, <laughs> this is like your next best thing. You can pick up the whole block and take all <laughs> the kids down to the pool, drop them off. If they, they can get out of there, <laughs> drop ladder ropes. Yeah, I'm not sure that step's actually doing anything, but but it it's, looks you cool. see it's got the hoops and oh yeah, they got yeah, dual in there. shocks and everything, so it probably rides fairly decent. Does it have a front drive shaft? That's the real question. Uh oh, Bluetooth. I can't really tell. Oh yeah, it's in there. So that's worth 14 points. Yeah, absolutely. It, I, that's I, actually impressive. It's actually in there. So this is actually nice. I'm gonna end on the snow picture. It looks like they upgraded all the lighting too. You can see it's all the LED, super yeah. bright stuff. Did the old underglow, especially for the snow shots. So let's rank it. Three, two, one, seven. Eight. You went that high. I was gonna go with a seven too, just because it's a Ford. But the, the attention to detail on the truck is really yeah. nice. And the I, fact that it's that clean. A 20 year old truck to do all that to it. I mean, that's a lot of money yeah. invested. So I get it. You know what we never did? We never even rated the first one. Cause oh, the girls. Yeah, we got interrupted. Jacked our show. Oh. So let's go back to this Sinister F build. Okay. And if you remember, it's got the sweet joke. I think that's paint. Did they even have wraps back in the day? I mean, we're talking like back in the day. I feel like this is from the nineties. <laughs> I guess we haven't been at it that long. Um, but let's rank it. I'm gonna oh, go to so this hard. super edited photo. Cause this is, I think when Instagram started and this is probably yeah, the first Instagram filter. Probably more than likely. Ready? Yes. Yeah. Three, two, one, ten, seven. Ten, seven? Yeah. Like in 2000 like in 14, oh. in 2012, okay. it was a 10. In 2019, or 2014 it's a 10, 2019 it's a seven. It just, th this style has changed. Back then this was one of the baddest trucks out there because I know when it got loaded to the gallery, I absolutely flipped out that somebody with a, a, a custom a build, build that custom. loaded. You know, it had the lights. I believe it's got a full interior. I don't know if the pictures are here, but so that's, that's why. I just think that that style has become outdated. Yeah, and that's kind of what with the positive my offset wheels kind of yeah. came from. Because at first I was thinking this thing was built in 06 and then it's, yeah, that's amazing, but it, it still was built in like, well, at least. It feels they, like it's from, from the, the early 2000s, yeah. doesn't it? If it's yeah. from like five years ago, he's yeah. pushing the envelope a little bit for that style being cool. But there's, regardless, there's a lot of work done to it, so. Cool, there you have it. Another episode of From the Gallery. Let us know in the comments, the dudes or the girls next week. Peace.